WordPress plugins are like the apps you download on your smartphone. In the same way, after adding plugins to your site, you must regularly update them to maintain their highest performance and hold security issues at bay. Hi, my name is Valerie and you're watching the Motopress YouTube channel. And in today's video, we'll talk about why it is important to update your plugins. I also give you some handy tips from the Motopress team you should follow before making any updates. And of course, the main reason why we're here, I'm going to demonstrate how to properly update your WordPress extensions in four different ways, as always. And there will be full timestamps for each of the sections in the description below and links to everything that I cover. And if you're ready, let's get started. You might be asking why are plugin updates for WordPress website so important? The first reason is security. A survey from WordPress shows that 60% of WordPress websites are get hacked are either due outdated plugins or themes rather sad statistics. Since WordPress is an open source platform and everyone can get their mitts on the code, WordPress sites are a juicy target for malicious actors all over the world. Updates are the only way to stay one step ahead of the hackers and reduce security risks. Without keeping up with plugin updates, you can also make your website buggy, slowly loading, Broken features, dead ends, and other annoying stuff will mean a bad experience for the visitors of your site. No one wants that. Furthermore, updates don't just contain patches and fixes. They often come with added features and functionality too. So why don't we take advantage of them? The good news is that WordPress will tell you when there are any updates to apply. When you log into your dashboard, you're going to see notifications informing you which updates are available at the time. The first indication you should pay attention to is there will be a number against the update icon on the admin toolbar at the top of your dashboard to the right of your site title. Alternatively, on the left-hand menu, updates will take you to the WordPress updates page, which contains all the relevant information and action buttons you will need. And against plugins, you will see how many of these updates are plugins. But before you rush to click the upgrade button, let's consider a few things and learn how to do it correctly. Remember, during the whole process, we follow the better save than sorry principle. Updating blindly isn't a good idea at all. There may be a bug in the release or compatibility issues. To start the journey, begin by reading the change log. This will give you an understanding of what the updates will change and improve. If you don't see anything suspicious, anything that pertains to your site functioning as it should, you can move to the next step, a mandatory one, and that's to back up your WordPress website. So in case something goes wrong, you can uh, easily reroute to the old version of the plugin you were about to update. In an ideal world, you should have a mirror staging version of your uh, live site where you can test out any updates and making sure that there are no issues before applying the changes to your live site. But, of course, it's up to you. Anyway, after making the backup and ensuring that it is in a secure location, turn to the plugins which need to be updated. First, we will touch on the one-click update method. WordPress notifies you of an out-of-date plugin and provides you with the one-click upgrade function for plugins that are either in the official WordPress plugin directory or pro plugins with an activated license. Now you just need to click on the Update Now button to initiate the update. WordPress will now fetch the latest version of the software and install it for you. Right now, the example with the license. To learn more about Motopress personal, business, or developer license plans, check out the description box down below. 
Besides, it is possible to block update plugins by using the checkboxes and setting the dropdown to update. This option seems tempting for the sake of saving your precious time, but be careful with this and remember, caution is the parent of safety. It is still advisable to update each plugin individually rather than in bulk, so that if there is an issue, you only have one plugin to deal with. You probably noted that sites that have version 5.5 or later can now go to the plugins page and turn on auto updates for individual plugins. The only issue with auto updates plugins is that they might break the site, but you may not know about it until hours or perhaps days later. Uh, if that's not a risk you're willing to take, you should probably avoid enabling auto-updates. Otherwise, enable this feature only for the tried and tested plugins. These two methods are easy as ABC, but they may not always be the ultimate solution. That's why users have two more options to go for. WordPress manual plugin update from the dashboard or manual plugin update via FTP. Both methods require you to download the zip file of the plugin's newest version from WordPress.org, plugin developers, websites, or third-party marketplaces. For the first manual method, I've chosen the Payment Request plugin by MotorPress. Manually updating any plugin from the dashboard deals with a very few steps that include the following. First. Go to the Plugins menu to the list of installed plugins. You'll need to deactivate the plugin and then remove it off the admin panel completely. When deleting the plugin, ignore the warning. This is a standard warning from WordPress. In the Plugins menu, choose Add New – Upload Plugin. Select the zip archive from the computer. Wait till the end of the installation and click Activate plugin. No further action is needed. The plugin will be updated to your site and you can already start using its functionality. Installing plugins from the WordPress dashboard is so easy that you probably never need to know how to install plugins manually via FTP. But what if the other methods of the WordPress plugin update failed? This might be caused due to incorrect file permissions, incorrect uh, version numbers, or other server configuration factors. Moreover, the technique is still helpful to know in case the WordPress plugin directory is down or unavailable. Unlike the previous method, you'll have to extract the new version of plugin zip file to a folder on your computer. To connect to your site using FTP, you'll need to enter your site name as well as your FTP username and password. I have FileZilla, but you can use any FTP client to your liking. Once you're connected to your website, you need to go to WP Content Plugins folder. You'll see different folders for all the plugins you have installed on your WordPress site. I'm going to update the one-click demo plugin, so I want to right-click on that and then select Rename by simply adding Alt to the plugin folder name. Next, you need to download the Rename folder to your computer as a backup. This will allow you to revert back to the old version in case you need it. After downloading the old plugin to your computer, you can delete it from your website. Now, it is time to install the latest version of the plugin. Switch to your FTP client and under the local section, locate the new plugin folder on your computer. Now right click and select Upload from the FTP menu. Your FTP client will start transferring the plugin folder from your computer to your website. Once the process is complete, you should check on the plugins page, find the newly updated plugin and activate it. Done! 
you can now check the updated version of the plugin. That's all. You have successfully updated a WordPress plugin via FTP. Thus, there is no longer any room for doubt that upgrading your WordPress extensions is really important. However, sometimes you may find that an updated version of a specific plugin isn't compatible with other plugin or theme of your site. This is why we always recommend you create a complete WordPress backup before performing updates. But if you know for sure which plugin caused the problem, reverting to an earlier version of a plugin is actually surprisingly easy and not so time consuming. One of the options for rolling back a WordPress plugin to an older version is to do so manually through the WordPress plugin directory. To get started, you'll want to head to the directory and use the search bar to navigate to the plugin you are looking to downgrade. For this example, we'll be downgrading the Jetpack plugin. Once you locate the plugin page, click on the Advanced View link in the right-hand sidebar. From the next page, Scroll down until you see the drop-down menu under Previous Versions. Select the version you are looking to downgrade to and then click on Download. A zip file of the rollback plugin will then download to your computer. In this step, you need to install the downloaded version of the plugin using one of the manual plugin installation methods we've learned today. So, downgrading can be a good short term solution, giving you time to notify the developer um, that a patch or fix is needed. And one more piece of advice from our team. Although you can update WordPress plugins anytime you want. We advise doing so when you have the least number of visitors on your site, depending on your audience. That may be during the weekends, for example, or at a particular time of the day. Always consider doing updates during night hours. They are less busy. To wrap things up, updating WordPress plugins isn't rocket science. One of, if not the most important things you can do for your site is keeping it updated. No matter which of these approaches you will decide to take, be diligent in keeping an eye on your plugins and update them regularly. Remember, updating is easier than fixing the hacked website. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it useful. As always, if you like the content that we are making, please feel free to give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and ring the bell if you want to get notifications. I'd also love to hear your thoughts or feedback on this tutorial in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Till the next time.